Hello everyone and welcome to this new Moon in Taurus live forecast. We are here to talk about the next lunation that we are going to have on the 11th of May, uh, this coming Tuesday. And this uh, lunation is going to be an interesting one, quite important. It's going to uh, give uh, um, a kickstart to a new lunar cycle that will lead us to the ultra-potent uh, full-blood moon eclipse on the 26th of May. And it's going also to open the corridor of eclipses that we're going to have from there on. Normally, when we have uh, a new moon, uh, we have new beginnings, uh, we experience new beginnings, we experience uh, we, uh, new moons represent a fresh start. But there might be two kind of new moons that generally are quite active because uh, they are, when they are active they ask us to run with their fresh energy. But they can also be, uh, and this one is one of them, passive because they are uh, asking us to retreat and to reflect on where we are at. I've given to this nation the title A Place of Silence and it took me quite a bit to really gather the energy uh, related to uh, this uh, uh, new moon because normally we don't think about Taurus as an energy or a quiet energy, a place of silence. But we do forget that uh, uh, Taurus is also associated to the Vesak, which is the celebration of the Buddha and to the Buddha energy. And Buddha was a teacher who worked a lot about one of the main concepts related to Taurus, which is the concept of desire, the desire of the mind. Uh, Buddha did realize that the reason why uh, humanity suffer, suffers is because of ignorance and that ignorance means not knowing and that ignorance uh, uh, creates uh, within uh, each of us uh, the desire you know because we don't know what is going to be good uh, what uh, is going to happen to fulfill, to, to, to feel safe, to feel secure. And Taurus is really about the energy related to I have, I own, you know, feeling safe in relation to uh, life, in relation to reality. So we need to own things, to have things, to feel secure, so to feel safe. We're going really to live a life properly and safely. But actually, that's not, the way we should go because uh, uh, Buddha said that you know because of that lack of faith and then uh, uh, because of the energy of attachment we have the tendency to aim for have a strong desire to have you know wish things and so this is you know we desire we would, what we can't have and then to push away what we don't want to have and sometimes because we don't know what we want and we don't know what we don't want we feel completely paralyzed completely conf or confused so buddha did an, an excellent work on, on uh, clearing our mind and uh, from all the uh, neg for all this desire in order to allow uh, something to come from within naturally. So in, in the Buddha teaching we really talk about the diamond mind, the clear mind, clear uh, from any desire. And this there is the parallel uh, between the clear mind and the blue sky with no clouds. That is the concept. So when, we, when I mention here a place of silence, I mean uh, the capacity within uh, that we, we all have to find a place within, a place of silence, a place of stillness in which uh, we can listen only to the voice coming from within, what in English we call the still small voice within. This lunation will happen on the 11th and 11th in esoteric numerology is called the prophet. Uh, and the prophet uh, uh, is uh, a concept, uh, a word that comes from the Hebrew Navi. Navi mean is, is made of three letters, Nun, Bet, Aleph. 
And the combination between Nun and Bet gives us a word that represents hollowness or openness, the ability to receive a transcendental wisdom. We are asked to make ourselves open in order to receive, like a prophet, an inspiration coming from above through the Holy Spirit. Remember, the Spirit means breath, to the breath of God. Um, and the Holy Spirit is the presence of God, is an agent of divine action and communication. And we maybe don't remember that this coming May, on the 23rd of May, we are going to have the Pentecost. The Pentecost is actually an old, a very ancient uh, celebration. Before being the descent of the Holy Spirit, it used to be uh, the celebration of the fruit, the fruit coming from the earth. And then only later on became the uh, descent of the Holy Spirit. And the, the Holy Spirit can offer us uh, as a different qualities, let's say seven qualities that bestows upon us, uh, uh, then it can give us seven gifts and can give us seven fruit. Uh, no, sorry, nine gift, nine gift and nine fruit. So the spirit, the Holy Spirit, is something really that can give us unconditionally something that whether we deserve it or not that it's something that is really coming to us, yeah. and then we have to be um, uh, we are asked to be open to receive. May is the fifth month and May relates uh, is also the number of grace and then grace uh, uh, 55 for example is grace upon grace. Five relates to the five senses or silence in the presence of God. This is why I call this, this lunation a place of silence. Find within yourself that place of total openness that can offer you the possibility to receive in silence the guidance, the presence, the message from another level of being, where you can really receive the plan, the new revelation that has to come to you. Because this year, 2021, uh, which gives us a 23, if we add 20 plus 2 plus 1, is the number that in the, e, in the I Ching is a number associated to taking the responsibility for the inner voice or inner through. A 11 is a 2 and May is a 5, which gives us 25, which is related to, the, uh, to, to discernment. The ability um, to um, discernment doesn't have to be a mental energy, but has to be based on feeling. And in order to receive that guidance, remember 11 is a 2 and the I Ching, in the I Ching, in the I Ching, 2 is the number, is the hexagram associated to nature. We are asked to get rid of the collective ego's mental program and be able to receive totally from the feeling side of our own being. Um, the addition of the day of this nation is 21. And 21 is in the I Ching, what do you nourish yourself with? How do you use your will? And 21 is also the number, uh, is the same number that we have of the degree of this new moon. The sun and the moon are both at 21 degrees Taurus. Taurus works uh, to fuse, fuse the individual will with the cosmic will. Uh, the Taurus has to search for gold, which immediately Taurus see is, uh, looks for in the outer world, but actually the, the gold that the Taurus has to seek is really the divine light. So we need to go through a process of death, death, which is a f um, death of the old way of being, the, the old way of dealing with things, and be open to receive totally the new light. There will be conflict within us. There will be emotional upheaval. In fact, the Sabian symbol of this nation is a white dove flying over troubled waters. So we need truly to overcome a crisis and that crisis can only be overcome if we are open to receive uh, something uh, new. The symbol of the dove uh, flying over troubled water reminds us of the experience of Noah and, uh, uh, during the, the flood. Uh, 
uh, Noah had to wait for a long time before he could receive the guide, the, the, the dove with the olive branch in uh, holding the olive branch in, uh, in its beak. And that means, uh, you know, the Holy Spirit receiving a new dispensation that uh, is a significant sign of what we have to do, about what we have to do, about where we have to go. We are in Taurus. The ruler of Taurus is really Venus. And Venus is really about desire. What do you desire? But Venus, which is in... Uh, in um, Gemini, uh, at the time of this lunation, three degrees Gemini, uh, Gemini is the um, star sign associated to the intellect and uh, joining together the two brothers, the two aspects of the self, and it also the inner communication, the inner dialogue. So we are going to go through a deep inner uh, dialogue uh, through which we really ask uh, to find what does it mean uh, for us to be? What does, um, what to be, to live? Because do we live what we think is right or do we feel what is right from the heart energy? So Venus is also the ruler of Libra and Libra is about finding your heart, is about the inner marriage. And in, in Libra we have two uh, trans-Neptunial planet, we have Make Make and we have Homer, and then Make Make and Homer uh, talk about facing the power of darkness, which means facing the inner conflict and becoming aware of something of spiritual forces supporting us through this period of transformation. The sun and the moon they square uh, Saturn, which is in a very important Yod, the yod, not a yod aspect between with uh, uh, the south node, the, the our karma, and Mars, uh, which is uh, in at 11 degrees in Cancer, uh, pushing which, us through uh, leaving behind all the mass consciousness ideals of what how things have to be be, uh, be done because Mars is the energy. Of, uh, is associated to the birth canal. So it's giving birth to something completely new within us to receive a deeper revelation about what is the true meaning of our life. Vulcan, which is the other ruler, or the other ruler of Taurus, is really going to break uh, everything that uh, is keeping uh, us uh, connected to our old desires to the material desire and then transform our desire into aspiration the aspiration of wanting to be who we were meant to be we are asked to just look to look uh, our situation meditation means to look observe uh, contemplate uh, what our thoughts uh, more than that our choices are going to create in our future. If we are not happy, is because we uh, of the choices we are not happy now. Is because of the choices we've made in the past. So we really need to be aware of how we plant the seed, and we will receive new revelation, the relation, new potential potentiality. We really are asked to go through a huge process of metamorphosis and the new feeling being coming up will give us the answer, will tell us uh, how we have to proceed, how we, uh, we have to go ahead in the world in relation to our life, what we have to manifest because Taurus is manifesting what coming from about uh, what uh, is going to manifest our uh, dream but not the dream of the mind the dream of the soul so we really ask to love ourselves deeply Taurus is a choral energy love ourselves in a new way and uh, accept uh, to leave behind the old way of being to leave behind the old, the old idea about the self the meridian associated to Taurus is the triple burner meridian. It is associated rules our metabolism, but also uh, is responsible from, uh, for our unstable mind and emotional. We really ask uh, to leave behind any kind of mental 
of belief uh, that keeps us in st- into holds us in um, that can create stagnation in our life uh, because that stagnation may create depression and then be completely open to the new be be completely open to a new direction in life uh, be completely open to give birth to our true self uh, be completely open to trust, uh, direct your will, because Taurus rules our, our neck and the thyroid gland, manifest our true essence, uh, translate our ideals into words, into action, into manifestation. So it's really a very important lunation, but more important will be the following lunation that is going to happen. But that lunation is going to be based uh, upon what we choose uh, at this point in time, where we put our will, which direction we choose to follow. And that has to be based on our feelings, uh, openness to the universe, feel where we are guided to go, and then later on uh, follow it. I wish you a fantastic new moon. I really suggest you, you to... Uh, take your time to go into nature, to meditate, to find that uh, uh, space uh, to listen, to listen in silence, in stillness, to your true inner voice, to the little voice within uh, that is really the new guidance uh, for your new life. Wishing you a wonderful full moon and lots of love. Bye-bye.